Hey guys, it's James Pidoro from the Otaku Geeks here, and today with quite a different video to what I might usually do. Today is a bucket config video. Now you may remember a few weeks ago I did a video on the Simple Prefix plugin, and if you would like to visit that dev page, the link is on your screen right now, and if you'd like to see the video, there is a link in the description. Now, anyway, um, the owners of the plugin have asked me if I'd be able to do a video on the config, so I said, Absolutely, sure. So basically, that's what I'm doing. Anyway, when you first install the plugin, the config will appear once you have restarted your server. If you are using something on the internet to view it, like I am, this is what it would look like. Unless you're using something like FTP, then that would be a bit different. But the config will look exactly the same. So... Of course, it's auto-update. Do you want it to automatically update when there is an update available? Or do you want to restart it yourself and update it? I always have that set as true. That's what the default is as well. Use Vault. Now, this only works if you have Vault in it. Um, I have that false. Bungie Cord. Now, that is a different type of plugin management system. I don't use that, so that's false. If you do use Bungie Cord, however, make sure you set that to true, so type true there, delete false, or type true. Now, ops have all, so that's ops have all the ability. It's a bit different. Now, template. When you first install it, it doesn't look like this. It looks like that. Now, I personally do not like having the time in front of my name, because when you type, it will have well, depending on what world you're in, it will have the text. So I have that removed because I don't like it. And then, of course, the prefix goes first, followed by your name, and then the suffix. If you do want the time, you can set whether you want hour, minute, or whether you want minute, hour, for some strange reason. Do you want people to be able to have more than one prefix? You'd set this to true if you did. And then the separator is a little white comma. The and r sets it to the original default color. So, that's white in this case. Do you want people to have suffix? Exact same as that. Now, nicknames for worlds. I've renamed SAO as SAO, like that. So when I do slash MV list, because I use multiverse, that comes up with all that. It shows me as SAO rather than the actual name. So, let's just say I wanted... Now, I copy most of the original things that are here. So let's go. We want that. We're going to rename um what shall we do? We'll rename mini games as we want it green and bold and it's going to be games like that. And back to normal. So that will what that's look like. Now this is one that I find incredibly useful. The groups. So, these are, I've only done this for two because I'm going to show you now. The example one is what I have copied over to make the default one. So, the example is everyone in the group example will have example as that. So, we've copied over default, so everyone in the default group will get the prefix default. Now, this is where you need to be doing a little bit of fiddling. Let's say for my mod rank, everyone with the permission mod. Now, notice how I said everyone with the permission. You need to make sure that you get the permission node for whatever group you're doing. Now, it doesn't actually show you anywhere in this. I'll go through all this weird typing later. But it doesn't give you the default permissions. So what you need to do... You need to go to your permissions plug. Now, I use PEX, which is Permissions X. I personally like it. It is a bit hard to get around, but once you've done it, it's good. So, you will already notice that I have the default and geek one set. Now, this is really important. I'm also going to write this down in the description because you need to remember how to do this. The permission you need to put under their tier is there. Simple prefix dot default. So it's always simple prefix dot and then whatever you have put here. So for the geek, I have 
simpleprefix.geek. So now we've just made the mod one. So I'm just going to rename that with a lowercase m. Oops, that's not what I want to do. And then we're going to go down to my mod group. And we're going to give them the permission node. Simple prefix dot. That's a dot mod. And then we need to save that. Also make sure that you save and then do the command in game SPR reload. Now, once you've done that, of course, you need to go into your other, you need to go into your server, so either the console or actually in-game, and PEX reload. That's another thing, another thing, blah, blah, blah. Now, down here, it literally, this is, you don't even need to worry about this, really. It's just got every single user who has got a rank other than the default rank. So let's just go, let's see if we can find mine. Right, that's, that's someone whose name is Tier Tree. It doesn't actually show you the name, it just shows you the prefix and the suffix. So, if I find one that says YouTuber, and, oh, that's, that's a shiny one, YouTuber and Owner, here we go, so this is my one, as you can see, that's my ID, whatever that is, and then the prefix is YouTuber and Owner. So, hopefully this has cleared up how to set the configs, all you need to do is make sure to remember to put the permission node in there if you want them to automatically have the tag. This... I've gone through that, everything's right. Um, if you would like any more help, feel free to go onto the dev website, which is on your screen right now, or comment below, and I will try and help you with it. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more, and I shall see you in the next episode.